Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'm gonna be fishing for some rockfish tonight at Marina del Rey, and uh, I wanted to show you guys what I'm gonna be using for tackle. Okay, so this is uh, I'm gonna be using this rod. This is a rod I always use everywhere I go, uh, except if I go offshore fishing. This is my 10 foot telescopic rod by Yumoshi. It's a portable rod. You guys could get this off of eBay or Amazon for about 40 to $60. It's a really good casting rod, lightweight, strong, has a really nice feel to it when you're fighting the fish. I got this spooled with a 50 pound braided line and I'm going to be using on the boat today since I'm not casting too far a 3 quarter ounce barrel swivel barrel weight uh, barrel swivel too this is a high, you know, high strength barrel swivel and I got it paired with a green bead it's a stopper bead it stops the weight from fraying the knot okay and at the same time it attracts a lot of fish and this rod has a portable handle folds away I put this in my backpack in case I need to hike to my fishing destination I'm gonna be using this 12 pound liter it's a monofilament line made by suffix 12 pound low visibility low stretch very good line uh, obviously I'm gonna carry my license everywhere I go I have a two rod stamp so I could carry two rods with me and use two rods at the same time and always carry a measuring tape with you to measure your fish to make sure it's over the legal limit okay you don't want to get cited for fishing and having fish that's illegal I'm gonna use these two odd hooks they're made by Eagle Claw and they already have a line on it but I will uh, put my own line my leader line on those these are really good bait holder hooks two odds so that's it guys uh, pretty simple and uh, we'll see you on the water we came here right here by the exit area right here where it opens up and the boats go out great spot for fishing we're next to the wall right here not that deep but still you know we're hoping to get some halibut or some rock, any type of rockfish. I got some squid. Got some squid right there. I got some shrimp. Oh, nice. Shrimp too? Yep. And we're about to hook up. Okay. We'll get back to you, sir. Did we get something on the line? We got another fish on the line. Don's pulling it in. Come on. That vehicle, what is it? Oh, nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Nice bass. Spotted nice. bass. Spotted bass? Yep. Is it a keeper? No, no. These guys got to be 14 inches now. Still, good catch. Oh, yeah, very good catch. Too much flies around here. All right, get this guy releasing. Okay. There we go. Released. Nice catch. Hope. Hopefully, we get something bigger right now. Okay, guys, we'll be back. We got something on the line. I think it's a bass. I think it's a bass too. Oh, like a bass. Oh, oh my god. What is that? Oh yeah. Nice oh my scorpion fish. Look at that. Nice scorpion fish. Oh yeah, baby. Woohoo! Look at that.
for this. Wow. Let me get a measurement on it real quick. Do a little close up. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Amazing. Oh yeah, it's legal. Oh yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Keeper? Keeper. That's a beautiful nice fish. fish. Let me zoom in on it. That's, that looks like a dinosaur. It's a yeah. You got nice. It? Yeah. Hold on. Let me zoom in on it. Oh my God! Beautiful fish. I'm telling you, it looks. <laughs> it's a dinosaur right there. <laughs> Open the ice chest. Put him in there. <laughs> Oh, cut the gills? Yeah, yeah, cut the gills. Believe the fish. That's a good fish. Nice size fish. Yeah. Almost immediately we caught something over here. Amazing, amazing. Okay guys. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna be cooking up the scorpion fish we got the other day and it's still nice and fresh I recommend keeping this on ice or frozen before you start filleting it okay so that way it stays fresh now we're gonna be using basic ingredients to cook the fish because we don't want to taint the flavor too much so we're going to be using uh, sea salt black pepper and garlic salt with some lime afterwards so and I have the plates garnished with uh, cilantro so basically you fillet this just like you would fillet any other fish You start by feeling out its bone, the bone behind the ear, behind the gill, right here, and you just go right around that. And you always go, try to go before, try to cut before the pectoral fin, right here, because that's where the meat is, and there's a bone connected from the pectoral fin to the uh, to the vertebrae. So you want to cut right here, basically. And you just make an incision, right, just like that, okay? And then you start from the top, just align your knife right along the spine, okay? Feel the spine. Just feel the spine and just go right along the spine. Lift the meat. As you can see, this is a white meat white fleshed fish you can see how white that is and as you can see there's no blood in there because I bled the fish really well I cut the gills and as soon as I cut the gills I iced the fish so just go ahead and remove this just like that there it is that's one piece right there and to remove the skin, some people like to remove the skin, some people don't. So I like to remove the skin. So just make an incision, hold on to the skin itself, then just 
run your knife under it. Okay, just like that. Now you can use pliers for the skin, or you could just do it like I did. Just cut a little piece, hold on to it, and put the knife, and run the knife through. And it comes off just like that. Okay, let me flay the other side and I'll get back to you guys. And that's it guys, those are your flays. Ready to go on the pan. Okay, so I got my portable stove here. Got to give it a little chunk. I'm going to do three minutes each side. And that's long. I like my fish a little crispy. Okay guys, I got my buddy Eric here. What's up? He's going to try it out with me. Um, we actually I never tasted this fish. He's never tasted it. Uh, so it's gonna be our first time, first time trying, trying this, this flavor. Alright, let's see. Tastes really good. Wow. Wow, it tastes really good. Wow guys. Never tasted fish like this before. I mean look at that. Look how light that is. That is amazing. So what would you compare the uh, flavor to? I don't know. Um, it doesn't, it taste, doesn't like, taste like it's regular not, fish. It doesn't taste like regular there's fish. There's no fishiness to no, it. Right? There's, there's no, no gaminess no. to it. Oh my god. It has a taste of its own. Basically. Yeah. It has a taste of its own. It almost tastes like it was barbecued. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't it give you that flavor? Yeah. It gives you that little smoky barbecue flavor. It tastes like a Even though it's fried on the pan. Yeah. It's got this nice flavor of like this mesquite flavor to it. It's like that's it natural mesquite flavors to it. Mine, lime on mine. See how that works. Yeah, I'm going to try it a little bit. Usually when you cook a fish and you dehydrate the fish, you want to squeeze a little lime on it to get those flavors, get those juices flowing again. Because, you, you know, it dehydrates when you're cooking it. But uh, this fish it has so much natural flavors and so much juice in there, it doesn't even seem like it's affected by the frying pan or the cooking. Uh, you guys will see us a lot uh, doing this ca catch and cook videos. It's not going to be solely fish. We're going to try different stuff, crabs and uh, crustaceans and all, all kinds of stuff. Um, but guys... Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. We're going to be going out there soon, as soon as we make some time. And uh, we're going to be catching, we'll probably be visiting that area that we went to by the wall. Because we're going to be targeting uh, different species of rockfish. Rockfish, exactly. And like, um, um, you, you'll see, we're going to be catching some nice sized, good, good fish. So, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe if you want. Uh, and uh, just uh, keep up with our channel. You know, we're going to be posting. We're, our goal is to post two videos a week. And uh, it's hard to do that with, the, with our job and everything that's involved with life and everything. But we're going to be really trying to live life and uh, do some catch and cook videos and some fishing videos. So... Stay tuned, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.